Good evening. I'd like to thank you for once again joining us here at the Greenbrier Church Online for our Wednesday evening prayer prompt. This week is my birthday. There was a time when I was a child that my birthday was my favorite holiday. It had everything you could hope for. It was in the summer, which meant I didn't have to go to school. I could spend my day swimming and eating watermelon. Somebody had probably put back some bottle rockets and Roman candles from a couple days earlier, and we were always with my family. There was a time that I would start counting down the days to my birthday, starting on December 26th. But somewhere along the way, birthdays kind of lost their luster. I'm not sure when I stopped counting down the days, but now it just kind of slips up on me. As a matter of fact, Trista reminded me that this was my birthday week. Regardless of whether you're counting down the days or if your birthdays are coming so quickly that they kind of sneak up on you, we're all growing older. Every day that we're allowed to live means that our bodies are getting a little older, getting a little more pain, a little more creaks, a little more wear, a little more tear. But growing older is not the issue. The issue is how are we growing older? Are we growing to be more graceful or are we growing to be more grumpy? Henry Newman says this about growing older, I began to experience a deep inner threat. As I entered into my 50s, I was able to realize the unlikelihood of doubling my years. I came face to face with the simple question, did becoming older bring me closer to Jesus? After 25 years of priesthood, I found myself praying poorly, living somewhat isolated from people, and very much preoccupied with burning issues. Everyone was saying that I was doing really well, but something inside of me was telling me that my success was putting my own soul in danger. I'm really intrigued with that question in the quote because maybe it's just because I'm closing in on my 50s, but I'm still wondering, is growing older causing me to be more like Jesus? I've been in full-time ministry for 25 years. I've been very busy doing kingdom work, but in all that time, have I grown closer to Jesus? Living Christianity is not about maintaining a status quo or doing spiritual maintenance. Living with Jesus is about having a life that's vibrant, it's maturing as a disciple. The longer we spend with Jesus, the more we should be able to develop our character to imitate Him. Our faith is not static, it's dynamic. Every day with Jesus, we should be focused on building our character. And that doesn't just happen, it takes a conscious effort. John tells us in 1 John chapter 2, and we can be sure that we know Him if we obey His commandments. And if someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey God's commandments, that person is a liar and the truth is not living in them. But those who obey God's word truly show how completely they love him. That's how we know that we are living in him. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. Tonight, before we take some time to pray, let's consider how are we growing to be more like Jesus? Are we really imitating him with our life. And then let's take some time to pray that we'll be more like Jesus, knowing that it will be seen when our life is filled with love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and self-control. You see, that's what it means to live like Jesus, to not only love the Lord, but to make sure that we treat people that the Lord loves in a way that brings honor to God. We're all going to grow older. The question that we have to ask is, as we grow older, are we growing to be more like Jesus? Let's pray. Father, I want to thank you for the days and the weeks and the months and the years that you have allowed us to live. Father, I pray that as we continue to live, as long as you allow us to be on, on this planet, that we will grow to be more like Jesus. Father, entice us to be more like Christ. Draw us to be closer to you. Allow your spirit to well up in us so that we will be more like Christ. That people will be able to see you through the way that we live. That we will imitate Jesus in the way that we forgive. The way that we welcome people. The way that we offer grace. The way that we forgive the joy that exists in our life. Father, I pray that in all things and in every way that we will be more and more like Jesus every day of our lives. Father, be with us until we have the chance to see you face to face. And I ask this prayer in the name of Christ. 
Amen. I hope you have a wonderful week. Sometime this week, maybe you eat a piece of cake or eat a bowl of ice cream as a way to say happy birthday and know that you're loved. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Go in peace.